Restaurant Week is happening now, and we are happy to feature some of the top restaurants participating in our Midday Maryland Kitchen all week long. Today, B&O Brasserie is here with a look at their Restaurant Week menu, and we welcome Scott Hines, the executive chef. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I love having you here because I'm a big fan of B&O uh, Brasserie. Thanks I so go much. there a lot. So for people who do not, can you fill them in on what makes it so special? Sure, absolutely. So um, obviously we're, you know, B&O, American Brasserie. We are located in the original original B&O Railroad headquarters building mm -hmm. connected to the Hotel Monaco yes. uh, right at the corner of Baltimore and Charles. Gorgeous hotel by the way. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. All original marble and Tiffany stained glass in yes. there. Oh beautiful. Um, so I always tell us, tell people that our concept is we do familiar elevated food. Okay. You know, we're a brasserie, so we want people to know what they're eating, but we try and kick it up a notch or else they yes. weren't coming out to eat with us, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and you have the ambiance there too. So it is yes. that sort of upscale casual. You can go there right after work or absolutely. on a fancy date night. You can do whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, obviously we do happy hour Monday through Friday yes. for the business crowd. So, you know, if you want to come in in shorts and a t-shirt, that's fine. Uh -huh. uh, we do dinner seven days a week. If you want to come in for that, then yes. I'll even set you upstairs, get a little more formal, a little more Absol intimate. Yeah. Uh, but we also do breakfast Monday through Friday and brunch on the weekend. So and we're you're open all the time. All the time. Every single day of the year we're open. That's We perfect. never close. That's the benefit of being attached to a hotel. Everyone's got to eat. A benefit for you, not really right? for me, <laughs> right? <laughs> We're really talking about <laughs> us, and Restaurant Week is a good time to try you out. So talk Absolutely. about what you're making here today. So right here, this is on our Restaurant Week menu. It is a mushroom cheesesteak. Ah. Uh, you know, everything's not always about meat and potatoes, and, you know, we we like yes. to cater to everybody. You know? Yes. Every, everything can be delicious, even though there's no meat in there. I'm a big mushroom person. Oh, love absolutely. It, love it. Okay. So basically all I'm doing is, you know, we pre-roast the mushrooms with lots of aromatics and herbs, you know, thyme, rosemary, trying to impart some flavor. What kind of mushrooms flavor. are they? So this is just a wild mix. It's got shiitake, ah. uh, maitakes. There's some button mushrooms in there. Okay. We just get a nice little wild meaty mix, okay. you know, to kind of emulate, mm -hmm. you know, meat, if you will. Right, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm plant-based, so for me, that, that is my meat. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. Right? Like it I works. said, nobody's, yes. nobody's here to judge. We're just here to make you happy. Right. That's what we're here for. So basically, I'm just doing some garlic, peppers, onions, kind of like basic stuff that goes in a cheesesteak, right? Right, yeah. The only difference is that there's no meat. It's going okay. to be roasted mushrooms. Roasted mushrooms. So we just go in there, and like I said, you don't have to pre-cook them. It, it does give you a more of a chance to impart some more flavor in there. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. if you pre-roast them and then just put them in Absolutely. a pan. Absolutely, yep. Um, but you can always do everything right in the Changes pan. Changes that with... texture a little bit Absolutely. There too. It gives it kind of, like I said, a meaty chew, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then you just basically just want to saute all this together. Just kind of let it sweat it out yes. a little bit, if you will. Yep. Soften it a touch. It's pretty straightforward, obviously. Season. You know, you always okay. want to check your seasoning. Yeah. Always salt and pepper. I love how easy you make that look. I used to right cook now. for a living. I don't do it much anymore, <laughs> but I used to cook for a living, believe it or not. So basically, like I said, you just cook all these till they're kind of softened up. Yep. You know, finish with some herbs, really whatever herbs you want. Just okay. kind of freshen it and liven it up a little bit. Uh -huh. And then you can pick whatever cheese you want. Here what we're kind doing of cheese is that? we're doing smoked provolone. Smoked provolone. Uh, again, oh, nice. I'm, I'm from the Philadelphia area, so yes. I try and give a little nod to to my cheesesteak well, heritage, if you will. I'm from Wisconsin, so so cheese. So cheese. we're we're coming together on this. I discriminate against no cheese. There you go. Fair all enough. All cheeses are okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That's why we're going to come together on this, and yes, it's going to be beautiful, are. right? All right. Do you so need this knife? Uh, no, I, I don't. That That's just for show to make it's it look like I actually okay. cooked things. I didn't want to be in the way of the knife. No, you're fine. All right. So as you're making this, I want to ask you, too, about the other restaurant menu items that you have on display here. Sure, absolutely. So we're doing lunch uh, just during the week. So, okay. you know. Right, the, the lunch crowd. Yeah, just yep. the lunch crowd during the week. And then dinner, we're doing every night, even through the weekends. Nice. Uh, dinner is three courses for $35. Lunch Perfect. is two courses for $20. Okay. Um, so basically here is just a sample of some of the other appetizers and okay. entrees that we have. So we'll be doing a green hummus mm -hmm. uh, with some crispy chickpeas, and it'll come with like a house-made lavash cracker. Okay. That's both on breakfast and lunch. I mean breakfast, lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner, yep, got um, it. Then we have a barbecue rockfish ceviche. Okay. So basically, it's just fish that's cooked with acid, and then we toss it with our house-made barbecue sauce. Got it. Which and then is what's right this here. one here? Then that's our Kobe dog, which is also on the lunch menu. Okay. Uh, so it's a Kobe hot dog with just some cheese sauce, sweet yep. pickle relish, and some Aleppo pepper for a little bit of heat. Okay. And then as we're wrapping up, I want to get yep. to these three, too. We have our steak frites, just a flat iron, yep. house-cut potato wedges, some blistered cherry tomatoes on the vine. Uh -huh. We have a wedge salad, which is available at lunch and dinner, just iceberg, tomato, 
bacon, blue cheese, and ranch. Nice. And then our chicken panzanella, which is on dinner. It's a citrus yeah. marinated chicken that with a little great. panzanella salad. It has some stone fruit in there, oh. pickled corn, tomatoes. Something for and everybody. And a citrus vinaigrette. All yep. right. Something for everybody. And this one is mine. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Oh, I appreciate pleasure. you being here. Absolutely. And you can check out Restaurant Week right now through the 5th. Just get those reservations. Go to BaltimoreRestaurantWeek.com. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You, my pleasure. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after the break. Stay tuned.